Hurricane Earl, now a massive Category 4 hurricane. 135 miles per hour. Winds of 140 miles per hour. Earl is a very solid Category 4 hurricane. Maximum winds of 145 miles per hour. The hurricane will impact the coastal and offshore area within the next 72 to 96 hours. It's going to be a very close call for Cape Hatteras. Because Hurricane Earl's winds and rain could be close to this coast in 24 hours. Earl's on its way. Wife and I are gonna go down to Frisco and watch the pier fall in. Surf's getting big and the storm is coming. It's the calm before the storm. Um, about to do a little drive through Buxton, check out all the houses boarded up, a little pre-storm uh, assault. <laughs> It is, let's see, 6.30. Storm still hasn't really moved in yet. We just got one of the outer bands. Still got 12 hours until it peaks, and um, it's a long time. Keep doing little updates as the night goes on tomorrow morning, but uh, yep, see how it goes. Well, it is 12.30 a.m. Been up since seven this morning, getting stuff ready, and then just hanging out since the storm hit. But uh, nothing too major yet, so just keep praying it's like that. Uh, give you a little update in a couple hours. For now, I'm gonna get some sleep. What you say? There's a hurricane. <laughs> a hurricane. A hurricane. Yep. <laughs> Somebody's fence. <laughs> Going to check the waves. It's like 10 o'clock, storm's passed, water's going out. But we definitely got it pretty good.
Well, we're over 36 hours since we woke up yesterday to a named Category 4 storm, blowing 145 miles an hour, which was quite a scare. But chilled out, and it wasn't too bad. Everybody got flooded pretty bad last night and this morning, and um, definitely some places are hurting. But it could have been a lot worse. So we're psyched, and the waves were pumping today. So that was good. Now it's time to rest. Should be fun again tomorrow, and then time to clean up. Yep. It was definitely an adventure, and I'm definitely glad Earl calmed down before it hit us.